but like a community. It's not about sharing. Be humble. Show you care to uh, to people. Honestly, they just want to be listened to. They want to to feel there is someone uh, behind your big brand or your your big logo. Keep interested in the long run. It's easy to get some bloggers for a campaign, but what what about the rest of the year? Don't get angry, don't threat, okay? It's not cool, I'm, I'm not saying it's easy for uh, uh, KitKat to, to manage this. Uh, I, I will be there, I will be like very cautious, there's no easy solution. And excuse yourself if you are wrong. The longer you lie to your husband or to your wife, uh, the, the, the worse is going to be uh, the problem. And the two last one, catch, catch the shiny object syndrome. Uh, you see, uh, it's a magpie. Uh, it lacks really silver, everything shiny, and most CMOs sometimes I'm feeling are like this magpie. Uh, oh, this is a new thing, like, oh, Second Life, Twitter, Facebook, the new new thing, and every month there is a new new thing, and, and you have to go for it, because, you know, all the media are talking about it, and the competitors is, is going after it, and even the user are on it. So why should we not go where the user are? The only problem is there is plenty of tools to play with, and every day there is more and more. So does that mean you, you should go every time? You probably should think about going, but maybe you should really think. And that's the problem. Tools and technologies are not a strategy. It's only channels, it's only tools. So if you, uh, honestly, uh, I'm not sure having a Twitter strategy, the, the world makes like any sense. It's, you have a social CRM, or, or social media strategy, and you might decide which type of tools and channels you are using. And maybe some are good, but you don't have the budget, or you don't have the human forces to deal with, so maybe you have to take, to make choices, and you cannot do everything, especially if you are going to do it pretty bad. And uh, uh, the Grunswell was presented uh, before, and there is just five points, or four points, because I added one, uh, which is really important. If any time we had a brief from our client uh, for a viral video or a viral campaign or social media, uh, whatever, if they will only give us those four points, that would be great. Who are you targeting? Why are you going like online or social media? Is it women? Is it kids? Uh, is it all your customer? Is it non customer that you'd like to to attract? Most of the time, people tend to oh let's go Twitter or oh, let's go Facebook. They don't even know who they want to, to, uh, to target. And more important, what is your objective? If you don't even know what you want to achieve, how do you want to succeed? Sometimes people focus on ROI, but ROI depends on what you want to do. Like, do you want to sell? Do you want to uh, change the perception of your brand? Do you want to drive more traffic? And most of the time, people don't really know. Going on Facebook is not an objective. It, it's a way of, of achieving something. So. Uh, just yeah, be clear about uh, what you want to, to do and what is the creative idea, what is the message because you know if you have nothing to say it's maybe better to shut up uh, so really think about what, what you want to say and uh, finally only then start to wonder okay now I know who I want to target, what I want to do maybe start only then to, to uh, think about formats, platform and tools and the last one that was not in the uh, book Evaluation. What metrics do you want? And you better choose them or think about them before you do the campaign because more often it's at the end, oh by the way I need to uh, measure stuff and uh, it just needs to be up. Whatever it is, you know, like growing charts, that's fine. Big numbers, uh, please. It looks good for, for, for the manager. <coughs> uh, okay, and the last one because I really like the web ferry. Who knows the web ferry? Nobody? It's, it's pretty fun because most of the time it's included in every pitch we receive. Which is, this is a challenge, this is the objective, so we have no money and uh, we need to be super fast, it needs to be like next week, and uh, the objective we need to sell one million uh, products, and whoa, you put some buzz and social media magic in the middle. And the web is coming wow. in, chup, 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 and uh, you know, the buzz powder, and, uh, and it's magic. And that's one of the other problems, is most people don't really know uh, this new ecosystem, even us, I should say, we cannot even say we are experts because everything is changing very often, but don't have crazy expectations. It's not going to fix what you were not even doing before. If you have no strategy, it's not because you put the word buzz viral or Twitter in it, so it is going to fix your bad product. If, for example, you have a really bad product, honestly, 
what do you want to do uh, with, with social media? It's just going to accelerate and amplify the potential bad buzz uh, you, uh, you have. And even the word buzz doesn't mean anything. And even our blog is Does called... Does it mean something? <laughs> Our blog is called Culture Buzz, so we're trying to uh, cover everything around it. But the problem with Buzz, it, it's too broad. It's not clear. And you realize most speeches, oh, we want to do some Buzz, so do, do, do us a campaign. And you realize one month after, nobody has the same definition of Buzz. For some people, it was more sales. For some, it was more awareness. For some, it was more traffic. So, okay, I'm fine with Buzz, but give me one single metric. Tell me exactly one number you will be happy with in one month. And of course, after that, you can do everything else. But at least, what is the key number that in one month you will tell me, okay, this is a success, I'm happy uh, with, uh, with the company. And I'm not saying it's easy because you'd like to do everything, awareness, sales, and traffic, and, and whatever. But at least choose one so you are sure your agency or, or your, your platform or your team are really aligned in, uh, uh, in when it's uh, coming. And it's a complicated and changing world. Benchmark, benchmark, benchmark. Like, check what the others are doing. It's great you are here today. It means you are interested in looking at best practices or, 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 or bad things. And training. Uh, too often, we have a huge problem as an agency. Is you have one or two champions in, in the brand that pretty much knows what he is talking about. And then, you know, it's nobody else. So you need to do training in your companies. You need to invest in coaching. You need to invest... Before to do something, you better start to understand what it is we're talking about. And since it's changing a lot, it's not easy. Uh, you, you better to, to really put a bit of money. You will save a lot more uh, afterwards. And uh, just to conclude, uh, this a video of TED. I really uh, invite you to go and watch it. It's too long for today. But the web is only 5,000 days old. So... You know, it's it's a very it's a baby. It's still like changing a lot. It's crying a lot. It's not easy to take care of, and and yeah, it's just the beginning. So a lot more is going to come. But if you don't ask yourself a good question, you probably are not going to have the right answer.